All right. Hey, good morning, Tanya. It's Adrian giving you a little tour of Emerald Mist, this uh, very beautiful Mediterranean style home here. Uh, the neighborhood is the park at Huntington Place. And I love the palm trees. Love how luscious the grass is. Nice. Uh, this is a Texas mountain laurel, by the way. Really mature, well-established Texas mountain laurel, which is one of the most coveted trees to have in your landscape here in Texas. Um, but then again, that might just be my opinion because I am into trees and landscaping <laughs> and uh, it's my hobby, I guess. But yeah, walking in, of course, um, feels very, very spacious. It is 3,460 square feet after all. But besides feeling spacious, more than anything, it feels very bright in here. A lot of windows on pretty much all sides of the home in the first floor brings in a lot of outdoor light. Um, so we've got the stairs going up kind of in the middle of the open floor plan here. And really the only thing dividing the kitchen and dining from the living room. So, and oh, about that media room, it's actually here in the first floor. It's technically the only bedroom in the first floor. So we've got a kitchen here, nice cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. And this is what I'm talking about. You have a beautiful view to the backyard from the kitchen. This window here, it was, both of these windows obviously were uh, for aesthetic purposes only because it just adds so much light to this kitchen and it helps to have a nice view of the backyard. You've got a ton of crepe myrtles coming from the neighbor's yard, um, peeking into this one. So that's very nice. And the kitchen, even though it's kind of at an angle, um, feels very spacious. That's why this is kind of kind of the, the angle that, that the little island is on kind of throws me off, but it's, it's really not bad. Uh, it is electric. I don't know if that's a, a huge deal for you, but um, some people, a lot of people in Texas like to have gas, gas cooking. So it is electric, has a range. This would be the dining room and uh, a mini living room in the entrance. We've got the utility room along with the pantry because there's not really a, a pantry in the kitchen. So it's, I mean, the kitchen's just right here, but yeah. Um, it's got a water softener as well, right there. A little bit of an old school water softener, but uh, definitely probably is getting the job done. Homes in Texas need a water softener. So, let me just go ahead and show you here. So this is the media room. The little base for extra seating or kind of like the elevated seating is actually in the garage. Um, but for now, they have taken everything away that or how it had it in the picture. Um, but yeah, so it's nice that it has a window because a lot of, well, two of my clients that have purchased homes with a media room have eventually just added a window to the bed to to the media room to make it a bedroom so here we've got the only full bathroom in the bottom it's nice and the nice thing about the garage is that they've added some uh, insulation to the garage door which yeah I'm it is pretty hot outside right now even though it's uh, the, just, you know, early in the morning. Um, 
but in the garage, it does not feel hot at all. There's no airflow, but yeah, the insulation is doing a good job and probably also a good job with sound insulation. So, and there's the little part for the uh, media room. So that is pretty nice. Okay, a little closet space there. Let's just uh, check out the, the backyard before going up. Nice, so they've paved it a good amount around the house, added this walkway to the side yard, to going out to the gate. So that's cool. And there is stucco on all four sides, Spanish style or Mediterranean style uh, tile roof. Stucco, it's, it's great. And these are the, uh, Ooh, this grass is pretty tall. These are the uh, the crepe myrtles that I was talking about. You've got a nice little kind of garden bed area there with a with a border. Super cool. Super cool. Oh, you've got some agave growing there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're definitely into landscaping here. So you've got, you're shaded by the crepe myrtle of the neighbor here, which is awesome. Got a little storage shed in the back. Yeah, very beautiful house. Very beautiful house. It's got this little um, kind of retaining wall slash, um, you know, brick or stone seating that is uh moving a little bit but this is not you know this was added on you know after the fact uh has nothing to do with the foundation or anything we see it kind of separating from from the uh uh pavement in the, the paved patio here but really it looks in great condition it looks to be in great condition so not worried about that and let's go upstairs this is just so cool all right we're going upstairs stairs are carpeted uh, but this loft area is not and one thing that I did notice is that which is my ideal preference um, when there's a two-story house in my opinion the two houses next to it should be one story why because in the case of a loft or a bedroom window you don't want to see a bunch of brick from the two-story house next to you. You wanna be able to see a little bit of the view, you know, which is just trees all around and a little bit of the ceiling. We're not gonna be able to avoid the ceiling uh, or the roof of the house next to you completely, but you won't have your view obstructed. So this is a one-story house. That's great. Little octagon window there. got three bedrooms to the left here and the primary bedroom here and as you can tell one story home next to you as well and the majority of what you see from the windows here is all this luscious greenery which I love Got the rest, the bathroom, which is a double-sided, 
with vanity on both sides. That's cool. Toilet right here. So yeah. Shower tub and entrance on both sides uh, or two entrances to the closet. So a lot of room, a lot. And of course, even from the bathroom, you have an amazing open view of the backyard. It's beautiful. All right, I'll try not to, to not make this video too long. So, I'm just gonna show you this. The third bedroom. Got a nice uh, live oak tree peeking there from the neighbor into this window. And you're gonna get a lot more light from these last two bedrooms because they're front facing, sun rises uh, from the east. So sets on, on the right side or left side from the home if you're looking at it from the front. We've got the bathroom, very nice. Nice counter. Super cool. So according to the listing agent and the conversation I had with him, they did add um, about 30, 2,000 worth of upgrades over the last three years and are now deciding to sell it. So uh, I think a lot of it might have gone into the backyard, um, the paved patio. Get a nice view from here. That bathroom definitely looked upgraded. This uh, floor looks brand new. And uh, yeah, so hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and send this to you as soon as possible, as soon as I can get back home and upload it. And uh, yeah, we'll talk soon.